Okay, this is the the Kokoraz rain gauge for NM-TS-1. I've been collecting data since 2005. And we got a little bit of uh, snow today in addition to the trace that we got this morning. So there's a little bit of water in there. I'm going to dump that out. Looks like it might be one or two hundredths. I'm guessing. Mm, that'll... But that is, let's see here. Yep, uh, exactly two hundredths of an inch that we collected today. And I'm assuming that there will not be any precip for the for the evening here. So this is the, what happened uh, to the gauge since 2005. We were at 7,000 feet elevation, so we get 35% more ultraviolet light than we do at sea level. And so what I did years ago is I scarified the the surface of the of the rain gauge because it was getting you know white like that. Um, and then painted it black, and you can see some of the black paint still sticking to it here. And also there's a label here, so you can see um, the label inside, the square label. And, and so as you can see, some of the black paint is still sticking on there. But yeah, most of, almost all of it uh, has peeled off. Um, there's also... Uh, down at the bottom here, there's, I think there might be a, a small crack down there. I'm not sure. Um, so there might be some small leakage going on there. It's kind of funky looking down there. Um, looks like maybe it was a manufacturing, uh, looks kind of strange. Anyway, um, so this is the funnel. And this one, uh, it's mostly intact, the paint. So this is, you know, inside the house for, for the winter, and then it goes back out in the summer. The, um, so it, it probably got about half the exposure as this did, um, you know, because it was inside in the winter. But you've got the black paint on the inner part and then white on the other outer to keep it cool. And... Um, I snapped this off. I dropped something on it and it came off, but I glued that back on. And uh, so that seems to be intact. Um, there is a crack that runs from here. You know, would be the best way to. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here's uh, from here to here. And it, you know. Um, so I'm not sure if that was just like some kind of stress fracture or if. Just from temperature cycling or if uh, a raven we have ravens and you can see they kind of chipped here so the ravens would, would uh, peck at this stuff uh, we got these giant ravens out here in northern new mexico and uh and the inner cylinder um you know is is largely intact it was a uh a, a little problem here but i you know put some super glue on it and it seems to be holding so far um so the rain gauge is still usable and um, um, so anyway um, that's that's the rain gauge thing and so it it's been you know so you know pushing 20 years here uh, being outside all the time like that so it's pretty impressive for out here at 7,000 feet so Happy uh, data collecting, everyone, and we'll catch you later.